We turn next this evening to major developments in the race for the White House. Donald Trump just moments ago addressing the bombshell headline about his taxes. What he's saying now about reports he might not have paid federal income taxes for nearly 20 years. And it comes amid new polls just out tonight nationally. Hillary Clinton after the first debate now, now at 47 to Donald Trump's 42. And in the key battlegrounds in Florida tonight, Clinton moving up there 46% to Trump's 41. They were tied there last month. In Pennsylvania tonight, Clinton at 45, Trump 41, no real change there. And in North Carolina, another key battleground, Clinton 46, Trump 43. But in Ohio tonight, the most welcome headline for Donald Trump, he is ahead there at 47 to Clinton's 42%. ABC's Tom Yamas on Trump's reaction a short time ago on his taxes. Tonight, Donald Trump praising himself after that front page story revealed he may not have paid federal income taxes for nearly 20 years. I have legally used the tax laws to my benefit and to the benefit of my company, my investors, and my employees. I mean, honestly, I have brilliantly, I have brilliantly used those laws. This latest drama began when the New York Times obtained part of Trump's 1995 personal tax return, showing in just one year, Trump claimed a $916 million loss. Under the law, that would have allowed him to avoid paying federal income tax for nearly 20 years. The documents arrived in the mailbox of a Times reporter in a mysterious manila envelope. No name, just a Trump Tower return address. The Trump campaign learned about it on Saturday. That night, as the story went up online, Trump took the stage in Philadelphia. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. He was two hours late, sounding red hot and ripping into Hillary Clinton. I don't even think she's loyal to Bill. You want to know the truth. And really, folks, really, why should she be, right? <laughs> but as he spoke, the story of his taxes exploding. SNL soon taking aim. He hasn't released his tax returns, which means he's either not that rich, Wrong. not that charitable, Wrong. or he's never paid taxes in his life. Warmer. <laughs> in the past, Trump has complained that not everyone pays their fair share. That's the amazing thing, is that half of the country is paying nothing, zero. And even if you don't make a lot, you should have to pay something, just something, to be a part of the game. He's also zeroed in on the rich, tweeting, the hedge fund guys, gals, have to pay higher taxes ASAP. They are paying practically nothing. But tonight, Trump won't confirm or deny whether he paid any federal income taxes in the past 20 years. I was able to use the tax laws of this country and my business acumen to dig out of the real estate mess. Few others were able to do what I did. And Trump facing another controversy tonight involving his fortune. New York's Attorney General sending a cease and desist letter barring Trump's charitable foundation from raising money in New York, saying it was not registered to do so. That same Attorney General, a Democrat, is investigating whether Trump used charitable donations from the foundation to settle lawsuits against his businesses and buy himself gifts. The campaign tonight blasting that Attorney General's, quote, political motives. And Tom Yamas with us live outside Trump Tower tonight. And Tom, we heard no denials from Donald Trump to the reporting in the New York Times about him not paying federal income taxes for nearly 20 years. So what does the campaign say tonight to those who might ask, why not just release the returns then and move past this? Well, David, tonight we put in a formal request with the campaign. They told us, quote, Mr. Trump is under audit. Now, in the past, Trump has said since he's under audit, he's been advised not to release his tax returns, but nothing legally is preventing him from doing so. David? Tom Yamas with us again tonight. Tom, thank you.